Hey, what's going on, tech fans? Welcome back to another edition of New Egg TV. I'm Elric, your host. Now, you guys all know that NVIDIA has released their new GTX 650 Ti Boost, which has taken the market by storm. In the sub-200 market, it's really kicking some butt. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the Galaxy version of that, as you can see right over here to my left. So with that said, let's jump in, check out the card, its specs, and hey, what it's all about. Let's go. All right, folks, so like any good unboxing and overview, we're going to first start off by showing you guys the box. I think the logo on here looks pretty cool. It's pretty well designed. You guys can see it's not the Galaxy. You got the two gigabyte frame buffer. Then you have the three year warranty, the forced air bracket. This thing has a custom cooling, supports up to three monitors. You have GPU boost, DirectX 11, SLI physics, and 3D vision all in this card. So let's flip it around just real quick. Won't stick around too much, but you guys can just see the back of the box and all the different stuff on it. I know you guys don't like to spend too much time looking at that. So now we'll flip it around the side to show you what's included in the box. And with that said, let's get everything out of the box so we can check it out. All right, folks, so let's start out with taking a look at the content. We start out, we have the user's manual. Then we also have an installation guide, a customer guide here, which tells you to make sure that you register your card, the driver's CD, and then the dual Molex to six pin power connector. Now this is everything that comes in the box. This will be called the bundle pack. With that said, let's move on to the card. All right, folks, so now we have the card out of its packaging and here on the table in front of us. We can see right off the bat there are three different types of connections available on the rear I.O. You have your dual link DVI, an analog D-sub, and an HDMI connector. You can also see the card is a dual slot card, and it's actually pretty small for its size. I'm going to turn over here onto its side real quick. We'll go ahead and measure the card. You guys can see that the card is 8 inches in length from top to bottom. The card is three and three quarter inches, and the card is about one and a half inches thick in diameter. So that's the sizes. Now this card also comes to market with custom cooling. This is a custom cooling design. It's not totally, you know, different than a lot of the other cooling things. It's similar, but it is different than a standard reference design cooling. You've got your single fan right here in the center, a different type of shroud. Now this card also has 768 CUDA cores. It has a base clock speed of 980 megahertz, which is the standard reference, and 1033 on the boost. Now, here on the bottom, we see the PCIe 3.0 interface. Spin the card around the back. You guys can see some of the electrical components, and you guys can also see the cooling fins that are available inside there. I'm going to flip the card around over to its side. You guys can see inside of here that they have type of cooling that is similar to others on the market that use like, you know, VaporX and stuff. It has heat pipes, the fins. It's their own original design. They just haven't really come up with any fancy aftermarket title for it as of yet. Here's also the single six pin power connector. The card has a 450 watts of total TDP. Let's flip it around the back. You guys can see this card still utilizing a blue PCB. We also see a single SLI connector. This card will work with single SLI connections. You can't do quad or anything like that, but it will work just fine for that. All right, so there you guys have it, folks. This card is coming to market with pretty much the standard clock speeds, but it's under $200. It's a very solid card, and for those people out there who are looking for an NVIDIA solution, this just may be the card you're looking for. Hope you guys like this video. If so, make sure you guys hit that like button and show us that you love us here at Newegg TV. And if you're not subscribed, hey, please make sure you do so. Otherwise, you'll miss out.